This is uh, Professor Resnick again. I want to talk about very briefly just one particular uh, idea today, and that's the difference between the order of a theory and the objects designated by that theory. That sounds very complex, so let me work on that a little bit. In what we have done so far in your readings, you've noticed that there are two tools that I keep on uh, uh, emphasizing. One is class as the entry point of Marxism, and the other is the causal logic over determination. As I said last time, for class to take on meaning and concreteness, it has to be connected to non-class, and for non-class to take on meaning, it has to be connected to class. That's this logic of overdetermination or Hegel's dialectic. So these are the two tools, class, connection to non-class, and the concept of overdetermination. We use those tools to produce a theorization of society, the, the thought concrete. But in the theorization that we produce of society using those tools, nothing is more important than anything else. So there seems to be a difference between the, the, the logic of our theory and these privileged tools which is class and overdetermination, and that which we produce with these tools, that which we produce is, is a knowledge of society in which nothing is more important than anything else. And that's the difference between the logic of a discourse and the object literally designated or constructed with those tools. It's, it, to use a different metaphor. In order to, to uh, produce a meal, you need a variety of different ingredients. Those are the tools that you, one uses to produce this meal. But in the, in the meal that you produce, you don't taste any of the ingredients and you don't see the oven and the, and, you know, and the frying pan and so forth, etc. Those are the tools that one uses to produce the, the, the meal that we enjoy um, at dinner or lunch or breakfast or whatever. So the thought concrete is that which we produce and we use tools to produce it. Marxism is distinguished then by the particular kinds of tools that, it, that it, it uses, that is compared and contrasted with other theories, which have different entry points, different kinds of logic. They don't deploy the dialectic more often than not. But it also differs from them in terms of the, obviously, the objects that are produced because it's using a different set of tools. Once again, in Marxism, we don't give a priority to class or to non-class precisely because of the tool of overdetermination. So what we have to get, bear in mind here is the difference, once again, between the order of a theory, in this case Marxian theory, and the objects designated by that theory. That's um, a part of the reading and knowledge and class that I ask you, ask you to, to, to look at. But you need to bear in mind, once again, there is a, um, uh, an emphasis on, obviously, the entry point and the logic, but there's no similar emphasis on the objects designated precisely because the tools are really an entry point, although that's terribly important, and a notion of causation. The notion of causation, the dialectic, demotes, as I showed you the last two times, any ultimate causes. That concludes this lecture.